Hey, 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 y'all. It is your girl, Monique Dior, and I am back with another video. So, this week's video is the NGL app. <laughs> y'all, OMG. Definitely gonna talk about it when we get back into um, the video. But for right now, we're gonna kick it to the intro. Then I'll be right there. <laughs> getting on trends i like to check it out after the trend done died so i started seeing it on instagram and i'm like ngl what is that what are you doing another another ask me fm what? what's going on so i was like nope i'm not gonna do it nope i'm not gonna do it i don't even know what ngl means like i'm not gonna do it so then i text my life and i was like hey <laughs> This is really making me feel old or showing my age, but does anybody know what NGL mean? And I was trying <laughs> to put letters together, but it, it wasn't doing what it needed to do. So, she was like, girl, it means not gonna lie. And I felt so stupid. I'm like, really? Let me tell y'all something. This generation and they acronyms, ridiculous. If you can't spell, then just say that. Just say that. If you can't spell, then just say that. Y'all y'all make acronyms for anything. Like, why? Use your words. Use your words. Anyway, so, said I wasn't going to do it. Said I wasn't going to do it. And I was supposed to um, hang with my cousin this past weekend. She was supposed to come visit me. But um, she didn't. She went to go see her grandparents instead. So I was like, dang, that was my content for the week. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Because <laughs> I ain't got no content. And y'all, this past week has been hectic. But I am not complaining because this is the life I've been praying for. Um, this is what I want. This is steps towards building my career and getting Monique Dior out there more so y'all know who she is and see y'all see her on y'all TV screens and y'all phones and your, and your tablets and all that good stuff. So I'm not complaining at all, like at all. So um, I was like, well, since I ain't got no content, I might as well put this up, get some questions. If somebody send questions, then I'll answer them on my YouTube video for Thursday and here we are. <laughs> here we are. So, um, we're going to get into it. I put the thing up on my Instagram story and I was, I don't know. How do I feel? I, okay. I thought I would have got more questions, but I didn't. And I know a lot of people go in there and they ask their own self questions and stuff like that. I'm not doing that. Whatever y'all ask. That's what I'm going to answer. So, I only got three questions. So, y'all only going to get three answers, okay? All right. So, um, the app was pretty, it was easy to download. Um, you didn't really have to, like, do no major sign-in or create an account or nothing like that. So, I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, it's pretty little simple little setup or whatever. So, the first question I got, and it's not, kind of, it started off not as a question, but I feel like the... I'm gonna read the question and then I'm gonna tell you who I think it is and I'm gonna answer it. All right. So the first one I got it says, I love you and miss you a lot. When are you coming back to Tallahassee? I feel like this question statement came from one of my many babies. Um, I think it's my big baby, being Marietta. I I, th I think that came from Marietta. Um, but I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um I will be back home 
for Family Field Day, which is next month. So not too much longer. What, next weekend? The weekend after next, I'll be back home. And the next question, it says, so how has moving to a new location helped with the progression of your career, number one? I think, when I say the number one, I think, I immediately think of my number one fan, which is Hype T. Thank you so much for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so I think this is his question. I ain't too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he'll say something in the comments if it is or it's not him. But to answer your question. Um, so I personally believe that it has helped. Um, and one of the reasons why I didn't want to move was because of the stereotype around it, how people um, feel like they are going to move and then they just, this is the place for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't, that's one of the reasons that was holding me back from moving. I didn't want to be one of those stereotypes. But when I really took a deep breath, I prayed and I stepped out on faith and it's been, of course, you know, life is going to happen. You can't stop life from happening. You can't predict what's going to happen. Even if somebody tell you, it's still not going to be, you know, what it is. You have to experience it for yourself. But I think it has definitely helped in a major way. Um, because I've seen opportunities that I know just me doing the bare minimum and not actually doing the work. I know it wouldn't have happened. So, um, for example, I got a fashion show that I'm in next weekend. Of course, there's fashion shows where I'm from, but like constant, constant work, constant auditions, paid events. Like it's, it's, it's constantly happening every day. Now I use my calendar more than ever. I'm already a calendar person. I'm already a person. I have to write it down in my calendar. I have to write it down on my phone. And then I have to write it down on my uh, calendar board upstairs. But I have to. Like, that's how busy it is from casting calls to events to submitting deadlines. It's just so much. I'm not complaining at all. I am forever forever grateful for it so i think this step out on faith was definitely what i needed to really get monique dior off the ground the third question what's your favorite song um it's a hard one because i am a music head um when i find Sorry, I hear stuff out the window. <laughs> Ooh, creepy. Anyway, um, favorite song? I I don't know. I I don't think I have like a favorite song right now. Um, but if you ask me, what am I listening to right now? Anything, Jack? I'm still bumping the Hotel album. I I'm, I'm still on it. Um. Anything Jasmine Sullivan. Um, Sean Millie still bumping it. And I've been to like the early 2000s music. Like, I don't, because I've been, y'all, I've been in my feelings. I ain't gonna lie, I've been in my feelings. <sighs> we ain't gonna talk about it, but I've been in my feelings. So I've been listening to like relationship break up heartache music <laughs> that's what i've been on like i ain't gonna lie like um what i heard the other day these leaves are scaring me sorry y'all um the js sisters um single um uh, single for the rest of my life um heartbreak hotel i i've been in my feelings so heartbreak breakup resentment all of that that's that's what i've been on i ain't even gonna lie to you that's what i've been listening to um and baby when i tell you i've been blasting it in this house i've been blasting it so 
Um, but if I had to choose a favorite song, um, mm, if I had to choose a favorite song, it's going to be Big by um, Pastor Mike Jr. It's a gospel song, but it's lit. Like, and one of the reasons why I like it is because it's encouraging. It's saying, God about to blow your mind. Everything's about to be big. My house, my car, my career, my life, my my husband, my kids, my vision, my faith in God, my love, my family. Everything's about to be big. So I often listen to that for encouragement to let me know that God made me a promise and he's going to keep it. May not come when I want it, but it's going to be right on time. And if he made me a promise, I know I'm going to live to see it. So, that's what I'm going to go for my favorite song. So, yep, that's all the questions that were sent to me. Come on now. Y'all send them questions. Y'all know I like talking. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I thank y'all, though. I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I thank y'all for... Send in the questions that you do all did send in. Oh, I didn't say who I thought sent that in that one. I don't know who sent that one in. That ain't give me no hints or no clues. But it was real anonymous. That's the purpose of the app. But, um, yeah, thank y'all so much for um, sending in those questions. I hope y'all like the answers. Y'all be sure to hit me up in the comments. Y'all know I'll be in the comments. Be all in the comments. Um, but, y'all, how do you know some <laughs> y'all listen i really be happy like when i get the notification on my phone that i have a new subscriber i don't care if it's one i be excited <laughs> and i don't know if my latest um my latest short on youtube did it or what but y'all i jump from it's not big to most people but i i appreciate the small wins okay I went from 336 to 341. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that fat, um, that fat uh, short that I just posted yesterday, it, it, it did good. So I'm going to keep posting my shorts. Um, I'm going to keep posting my videos because y'all can't get rid of me. I'm here to say, period. If I ain't got no content planned for the week, I'm going to make up something. Even if I come on here and just talk to y'all. Hello. Hey, how you doing? So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate y'all so, 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 so much. And be sure to stay in them comments. Be sure to follow my Instagram. Stay in those comments. Stay sharing. Stay posting. Y'all I'm watching. I got something coming for y'all in December. <clears throat> so I hope y'all comment and I hope y'all interactive. I am paying attention. I am writing it down. Um, so I can have some special stuff for y'all in December. God is going to bless me to bless y'all in December. Okay. I'm saying it now. I'm claiming it now in Jesus name. Amen. So thank y'all so much for watching. You know, tell a friend or tell 10 that Monique Dior has done it again. And until next week, y'all hold it down and be 